Hi YouTube family, I thought I'd just give you a really quick review of the Arcteryx Aerios 45 pack. That is this one here. This is the second pack that I've purchased of the Aerios 45. My husband's also got this pack. I've used this pack on quite a few outings. I actually used it over 2021 and not 2022 because I had to send the pack back. The reason I had to send it back for warranty was because there is a plastic panel that keeps the pack from rounding out when you have gear in it. And the plastic panel is stiffened by two long plastic skinnier pieces that go from the top of the pack to the hip belt. They help stiffen the plastic that's in the pack and they help distribute the weight. Unfortunately, they are laminated to the plastic panel. So it's like plastic laminated to plastic and the lamination came apart. So those plastic pieces completely came apart from the plastic panel inside. I don't know if it was my fault that happened because I let my dog sit on my pack when it was a really rainy night outside and my friend and I were sharing a tent and it was only a two man tent. And so I had to stick my dog on top of my sleeping mat and I didn't want his nails to go through. And so I put the pack underneath my dog my dog's not that heavy so I mean it should have taken that weight but it didn't so I am going to try the pack one more time. Uh, Arcteryx is known for its really well-built packs and for being durable so I'm hoping it's not going to happen again. My husband also has the pack it hasn't happened to him so I'm giving it another chance. I did get a discount on the pack I probably wouldn't have bought it again except that I did get a discount on a friends and family event that happens once a year that my friend gets so I got 40% off the pack so I did buy it again. I bought it again because it's got a lot of great features. The great features are I love these front pockets. They fit the Solomon bladders really really well. Not the bladders, the soft flasks. I put a soft flask in one side and I put a bear canister in the other side. We have grizzly bears here in the Canadian Rockies so we always have to have our bear spray. The, this also has little zip pockets that sit in front of the bear spray or the water bottle. Unfortunately, these zip pockets are a bit too small. Arcteryx, hopefully you'll make them bigger on the next version. The only thing I can fit in these when they're full of water or bear spray is maybe a little lip balm or a little gel, but that's about it. The other great feature about this pack are the side pockets. The side pockets are actually a little smaller than I would like, but they're there. It would have been great if they were a bit bigger so that maybe you could fit sunglasses in there. But again, you can fit like a mini sunscreen or a granola bar or, you know, your lip balm and your granola bar. Or maybe your tiny headlamp in there, but it doesn't fit a whole heck of a lot. The other side, it would have been nice if it had a zippered pouch, but it has a pouch that's just open that has kind of an elastic on the top. I've had items fall out of this, so I don't trust it anymore. So I'll likely not ever use it. I've got a Dyneema side pocket that I purchased from uh, Etsy and I'll probably just put it on this pack the next time I use it. I'll link that below. The other really great thing about this pack is the padded hip belt. It's very, very comfortable even when you've got heavier weight in the pack. It's also got a really nice side zip here. Uh, it's actually not, it's not something I'm keen on. I would rather not have a side zip. I think it just adds weight to the pack and it also is a possible point of failure. However, a lot of people like the side zip because you can get to your gear a little bit quicker without opening the top. It's got a roll top, which is really nice. I love a roll top. It's just easier to get gear in and out of. And you can see that the roll top is actually a little bit bigger, wider than the pack itself, which is nice. It's easy to get gear in, in and out of the pack. It's also got a nice front pocket here that you can keep your maps or your headlamp or your gloves, whatever you need to get to quickly. I would have liked to have a really big front pocket on the front. Maybe your Arcteryx will update the next pack with that. But as it is now, it's just got this bungee cord here. You can bungee things onto it, uh, maybe a jacket or your rain pants or whatever. It would have been nice if it was a pocket, but it is what it is. It works all right. 
this pocket here on the top does have a waterproof zipper. Now this pack is not fully waterproof. It's water resistant. The water will soak into this pack after a really long rainstorm. So it honestly would be nice if Arcteryx would kind of get with modern technology and start using modern fabrics like Ultra or Dyneema, fabrics that are a lot more waterproof that don't absorb the water and make the pack heavier. This does a pretty good job of not absorbing water, but my Dyneema packs that I have, I really like the material a lot more and the Ultra packs. Another nice thing about the pack is it does have the load lifter straps here. It's also got the straps that go across your chest. One thing about this pack that could be improved upon by Arcteryx is having some kind of a lock system on these straps that won't allow the straps to come undone because they they seem to get you know further and further apart, wider and wider as you're hiking. And you have to just, I mean, it's not hard to grab on this and pull it tight, but it would be nice if they just didn't get more loose. You can see that I'm just kind of pulling on them and they're getting looser. It's nice that they have the little straps here that you can clip on, say your Garmin inReach or whatever you want to clip on there. It is quite a large pack. It's 45 liters internally. I'll put the specs down below in the description and maybe I'll put some of the specs on the screen as I'm talking about this. The specs of the fabrics and the weight of the pack. This pack is actually about two and a half pounds. So it's a lot lighter than a lot of the other big pack companies, which is really nice because you know that you're getting Arcteryx quality, but you're also getting a two and a half pound pack instead of their old Boras. We have an old Bora that's, it's almost seven pounds. My husband took it out on our six day trip on uh, Mount Shark to Mount Assiniboine and that extra six and a half, seven pounds really weighed him down. He had a really sore back. The other fantastic thing about this pack is these side pockets. They're absolutely gargantuan. I've never seen bigger side pockets on a pack. And the reason that's nice is if your tent is soaking wet, you can actually put your tent in the side pocket. You could also probably put three water bottles in the side pocket. The only downfall to these side pockets are these bungees that have a little place that they tie onto at the top. They just hook. They're great except they don't have a stopper. So when you're pulling the bungee from the bottom, if you've forgotten to hook it up to the top of the pack, this little bungee will actually go into this side uh, tunnel that's made for the bungee. And if you don't have tweezers, I think that it would make this side pocket completely unusable because there would be no way for you to close it up. So that would be a great improvement Arcteryx could add. Hopefully you can see the pack as I'm moving it around. Other than that, it's got your standard ice axe loops, two of them here. So you can use this in all weather. You can use it if you uh, have to hike in snowy conditions and need an ice axe, or you can use them for your poles. There's also a really cool system here. Let's see if I can find it. It's been a while since I've used this pack. There it is all right here. There is a little cord right here at the bottom of the front where you can actually hook your pole onto this cord and it loops over the cord and then you can hook the pole up to somewhere on the top. I'll have to put a picture of the system. Uh, there's a picture of this on the Arcteryx website or there was. I'll see if I can grab that picture and show you how the poles go but you can actually put the poles on the front, which is really nice. You don't have to stop and hook your poles up as you're moving. One last amazing feature about this pack is the back panel that I talked about earlier is actually curved and it's got this great mesh in front of it here so that the pack is held a little bit away from your back and the mesh really allows airflow in here. So your back gets a lot less sweaty in this pack than it does in other packs that sit right on your back. My Hyperlite pack sits right on my back and I do tend to get sweatier in it. If your back getting wet is something that really concerns you and you still want to get a nice lightweight pack, 
this would definitely be the way to go. It's also quite a bit cheaper than a lot of the ultralight packs out there. I believe this pack is running about $300. I'll have the price below. But that's a lot cheaper, 300 Canadian dollars. So that's a lot cheaper than most of the ultralight packs out there. But I mean, the other ultralight packs are made of better materials, in my opinion, like Dyneema and Ultra. And that's basically what you're paying for in those packs. But it's nice that Arcteryx has now given an option of a pack that's not as expensive as, say, their Bora line. So people can still get a lightweight pack and not have to break the bank. Because this pack is more durable, the material is really durable, I'll probably use it on backpacking trips with my husband when we're going to do things like Northover Ridge, where we might be rubbing the pack a lot on rocks or if we're going to be doing a lot of bushwhacking, because it is quite durable. That's it for this review. Hopefully it'll help you out in your pack choices and make sure you get outside.